Oh no. There we go. Hello everyone and welcome to Higher Plane Games. My name is Simon and welcome to Tethered. Now, I'm hoping that this as a quick look slash overview of the game will not make you seasick. So Tethered was initially uh, a VR only game that they've now patched in to be able to play and run uh, completely with your controller. So I'm going to try my absolute best to make sure that this is not like mega horrific to watch and that doesn't make you seasick essentially. Um, so I really hope that this works <laughs> for people because potentially this could be really sick inducing and horrible but it's so it's so um interesting so this this is a vr like god simulator type type thing so smithy is god and these things are cute as hell they are so cute <laughs> Hello guys! Hello! Hello! <laughs> so cute! So, um, what I'm going to do is play through essentially the tutorial type mode. There we go, there's the date and time of the latest version of this game where it got updated to not be VR anymore. Uh, so you do have the options of playing with Oh, I wonder. Ah, so that just moves it to the right analog stick. Would that be better, actually? To That could be better. Okay. Right, let's do that. Because I'm really worried that my shaky hands for this will make this not very well <laughs> for people. So actually, that's quite good to know. I didn't realise that that done that. Um, so. A quick sip wick of drink. So Tethered is a god sim. It's ultra cute. But I really like it. Um, on what I've played of it so far. So I'm going to dive back to the tutorial. Um, so that we can play it. So that I can... Because it, it, it explains... Fine either way, smiling face with open mouth. Okay. Um, so I'm going to play the tutorial because I think it explains the game mechanics really, really well and in a really nice layered approach. So um, if you want to know all about the game and how this plays, this is going to be the ideal video for you. If you're looking for like in-depth playthrough runs of like things going really, really fast, not going to happen for this one. So apologies in advance. So remember, tutorial only this is going to be for this game. But hopefully this will help you understand if you want this game or not. Wake up, Spirit Guardian. They Hello. need your help. Who does? Okay, so the whole thing is kind of like a move around type stuff. Um, and then it will guide you to where you want to go in the land. So... Use the right analog stick to view around the world in the viewpoint. Use the left to lean left and right. So you can kind of do a like a that type of thing with the left stick. Which when combined with the right gives you quite a lot of movement around. So that's all good. So yes, got it. So you can change viewpoints and essentially you can move so that you can see the whole island by diving around on the clouds. But then that will flick you from one cloud to another so that you can view a viewpoint. And then you get these wonderful little eggs. So everything starts with an egg. Blue eggs are good, brown eggs are bad. Uh, essentially, everything starts off as blue, but then the late, if you don't ha hatch them and look after them, they'll turn into bad eggs. So, heat hastens the hatching. So, and the whole point of tethered is that Um, you're tethering elements and everything to what's going on in the world around you. So look at the sun cloud. We can press and hold R1 and then what we're going to do is then essentially tether the sun to the egg and we bend the sun to our will. Hello little 
Chica. Ah, this is a peep. Peeps are lower servants that do your bidding. <laughs> so, uh, our kind of like manner and the way how they research uh, or, or um, have like religion and kind of worship me as a god, God Smithy, is through the obelisks, which then gives you more power. So think of like populace and civilization, but cute. Um, so, I'm gonna hold. Oh, no, I'm not. I'm gonna hold our one. I'm gonna tether him to the obelisk. <laughs> I bet you do. So there we go. We've now got our totem, which lets us have spirit energy. So you can press and hold L1. And each kind of thing that they do, which like forge your civilization, gives you spirit energy for you to then take on. Spirit energy is stored in the totem, healing the land and turning it into lush green. So you can see, like the rest of the land looks a little bit like the rest of Essex, where I live, <laughs> in need of a good clean and a bit of bit of grass, a little bit less shit, to be quite frank. So uh, you then get spirit energy to take on. However, if we want them to keep praying. Um, and to keep things going, we need to satisfy their needs as well as peeps. So this peep is hungry, it must eat regularly. So, we can tether peeps to food so that they bring in the storage. So, yes, we've got that. So let's grab this peep, tether it over to the food. It will then wander about and essentially it will bring it back to this little thing here, uh, which is the food storage facility. Let's hop over to that cloud over there. So, and what this tutorial is really good at is that it starts you off with just one peep so that you get to understand the mechanics of the game. Uh, but essentially, eggs are going to start descending from the sky and then the eggs will uh, like continue to populate. And so you're not just looking after like one peep's needs, you're looking after a shitload. And then you can assign them jobs so that they just essentially continue to always harvest food until there's no food left. And then you'll get like some as farmers, some to defend for... Because uh, very like Minecrafty, at night time the monsters come to play. So you need to like defend your island from... You okay little man, it's okay. From the little monsters and everything like that. So bear with me around this tutorial. It's just I, I want to go slow because some people like struggle with this type of stuff. Yeah, we've done that. Cool. Congratulations, you've gathered food. Always try to keep foods in store because otherwise peeps will fall into despair. Uh, they'll also fall into despair if you leave them thick with nothing to do. So keep them busy or face the consequence. Uh, this prayer means the pimp is, peep is injured, which they'll get during battle. Oh, there's another one. Another egg. Tether your peep to the egg to incubate it. Only blue eggs will hatch. Unincubated eggs will turn bad. So there we go. So we're going to have one basically look after the second one. Uh, the guy that done the soundtrack for this also done the soundtrack for Papu and Yo uh, and Tear Away. And they're great soundtracks. And this is quite fiddly and fun as well. There you go. Warm my egg, peep. Make me a, make me another minion. Is that you, Mike? <laughs> oh, here it comes. energy in solid form. Ah, uh, hey Mr. Drakes, hope you're well. 
So, I uh, use peeps to gather and return them to the totem. So what I'm going to do, the new one that's hatched, we're going to send off to try and get that castle, but uh, crystal, but you can't do it because of the treacherous torrent. Uh, I'm going to sort that out. So, again, we now need to look at the elements as to what we want to do. So we've got the cold one. What we're going to do is tether the snow to the river. Uh, very well, thank you. And so the snow can make the ice, which now means that he can now go and get said crystal and bring it back to the totem. You can keep giving us food, to be fair, mate. Let's put them both to work, otherwise he'll fall into despair. So he now gets the crystal, he's getting us dinner. We've got two peeps working for us. Worship me. Oh, let's collect our spirit energy. Which is essentially our currency for how much shit we can do. Uh, as totem... There we go. So can you see, like, we've got more lush green land for us to play with. Artifacts reveal secrets of buildings to peeps. This one teaches them to construct fields. So, let's tether a peep over there. <laughs> oh, I need it. You know what? I was chatting with someone today about Stellaris because it's 40% off. Uh, and they've told me go for Masters of Orion. Real kids would worship me because I have a massive games collection. Okay, so he's gone to the artifact. He now knows how to build a, build a field. Um, so I'm now going to tether him to a construction site to try and build field. But sadly, we need resources first. So this is where you, how you build things. Um, so a field needs 12 pieces of wood. Then you've got stone over there. Uh, and that's like molten rock. So uh, we can dive into the details of what it is and each thing can be upgraded as well so we can look at pumpkins, poppies or potatoes once we've done a field for basically getting us food in all the time because otherwise we'll eat up all the plants as we go. So we've got some towering trees, we've got some minerals and we've got some boulders. So we're going to look at getting this guy because we need wood for our forest. So he's going to chop down some trees. He's still getting us food, which I'm quite happy for. But look! More egalicious peoples. So actually, I'm going to stop him from getting the food. He can still chop trees. He can sit on my new baby. <laughs> Don't try this at home. And once he's put his logs in our supplies, so he's got five there. Hello, little guy. So, one more little guy can go and sit on that egg. You can go back to collecting the food. And see how quickly you start to have to like look at molten, molten energy. Oh no, he's gone into a bad egg! No! Oh no! Poor little egg man! Right, quick. That went to a bad egg quite quickly. I feel like I've been a bad parent already. <laughs> okay, sit on that egg, make it love. Yay, just in time. I don't know, it was like a whale sperm. Okay, so in order to keep these having purpose, I'm going to get that one to do boulders. 
Uh, I'm going to get that one to construct because we've now got enough uh, for a field. So he's going to build our field for us. But he's going to still collect wood for now. But notice that these trees are finite. So when I... Oh, shit. For that. Love that egg, bitch. Come on. They go red so quick. Makes me worried. So, we've got ourselves a field. And if we tether the sunshine to it, once the crops have all been made, then it regrows. So, let's get one back on chopping wood. Uh, and let's get that guy. Uh, we've not got anyone going for mining of minerals, so let's sort that out. So then we've got resources everywhere. Oh, this artifact teaches you how to build a barrel. Uh, where, the, where did that egg go? Where's the egg? Ah, oh, there it is. Right, you're closest, quick. Right, so we've got a parched plant there. So clearly we need to get the wet weather onto the plant to make it extend and unfurl. So once this egg is born... Right, we'll send one to get the artifact. Uh, we need one, I think, to still chop trees. Let's tie the sun to the crops, because then that will make that all regrow. So that we've got tons of food, because that's nearly gone. to get the wet weather onto the parched plant. There we go. And now I can grab the artifact. It now knows. Yeah, yeah. Well, it was originally PSVR game, uh, and then they've now made it so that you don't have to. Getting towards night time. Dusk. Night approaches. And night creatures emerge and look to feed on resources, crystals, and peeps. Prepare your barracks by constructing a barracks. Uh, prepare your peeps by constructing a barracks here. So that guy. Yes. Uh, in the latest last month sale, this was, I think, 40% off. Uh, so we need. What have we got there? Some molten rock shit. <laughs> Which is what we don't have. So we need... Is that molt? Is that the rock? Or is it that that's the rock? Oh shit, and we've got... A, we've got an egg! We need to get that egg! Uh, screw, screw that. Get some... Yeah. Again, let's get one on there, and let's get another one on there. Oh, there's some crystals there. Oh, that's for the plant, that's okay.
that sound is so weird. It reminds me of um, Gizmo. <laughs> it makes me feel like I'm someone's not able to do something. So have we got enough yet? Oh, I think we have. Yes. Go Schmiffy! Build me a barracks, bitches. Peeps. Love your Smithy! Uh, so can we put the... If we put rain on the trees, then that regrows the trees. Especially after midnight now. <laughs> so... Once you've then got a barrack, you can then prepare heroes. Each barrack you can build two peeps promoted to heroes, uh, promote a peep, tether it to the totem. So let's dive over here. He looks thick. Let's put him on the po totem. And we can, that uh, barrack lets us now promote two to heroes. So he can be a hero. He can be a hero! Come on, out of the food. Oh, it's getting towards night time. Shit's gonna hit the fan. And you can see it's night time. Let's look. The moon. Darkness. Critters are approaching. It's just a long day. Could be here. Just Ah. Uh, such Eurovision beaut. So, at night time, all of our weather systems go away, so we can no longer deal with the effects of things. Aurora Borealis in the air. But now look at, now look, we got shit to deal with, and I want to get my hero up there. Beat the shit out of it! Oh, there's another one. For each thing that we're killing. Oh, there's someone going. Come on, you're the hero. You need to, need to kill shit. Oh, that hero's injured. There's a problem. Yeah, look. Let's spread the love. These look, they look similar to the stillborn things that we had earlier, didn't they? They're all just slugtastic. Don't stand there. Go kick ass. Is there anything else coming over the hill on this side? Or are we done this side? We're done this side. Oh. It's, uh, the it's, like issues. it's just I want to protect that side a little bit more just because. Christ, everyone's nearly dead. Oh, it's eating our resource. Shit. Spank its booty. We need those minerals. Send the ones with yellow health. They might survive. Oh, daytime. Ah, so it scampered off. We survived the night, everyone. Whoop, 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 whoop. Worship Smithy. Smithy brings you hugs. So now it's daytime. They're all a bit gormless and don't know what the fuck to do. So let's put them to work. So you can go there. You can go there. You can go there. You can go power fields. 
each subsequent night, critters become stronger, bolder, and more numerous. Thanks for that. And there's all our elements back to kind of re help refill. If resources are running low, you can partially replenish it with weather. So sunshine for fields, rain for wood, icicle for stone, zephyr for all. This battle with the war is not over. <laughs> Indeed. <laughs> Indeed. Oh shit, I've dropped it on the wrong fucking thing. Never mind. Um Right, so I'm gonna make you can chop wood, you can turn the field. There's our sunshine, we need that. For some more crops. Resources. Well done. If you find tether a peak to stone. Ah, here we go. So let's tether a peak so we can upgrade our stone. And we look, we've got loads of resources, so we can now actually build it as a quarry. Our resources and buildings are upgradable as well. Go, go, quarry peepees! Seems like it. Another artifact. This is to build a moot hall. Okay. Grab, grab that artifact. Build a moot hall for me. Let's upgrade our trees. You can build one of those. Let's upgrade our film. Oh, we haven't got. We don't know how to build that yet. So yeah, you're screwed. Oh look, he's all like looking confused though. Uh, so let's get the sun out to make us some more crops. Build a hall. We look gone, this is fuck. And so the more you upgrade your buildings, essentially the more specialised types of peeps that you can get and the more quantity of them. Where's the sun? Oh, okay. New hall allows you to turn, turn two peeps into craftsmen. Uh, so let's... He was a normal... He was a normal guy! Uh, so let's get... Hmm, do we want a farmer, a prospector, a woodsman, a quarryman or a miner? Let's go for a miner. And then we can then we can put him to work in there. Uh, you look forward as hell as well. So let's pop you in and make you 
Corey then. Good choice. Tether miners to load. <laughs> miners. Oh, right now I've lost it. So the other thing we've got here is other types of things. So if we do a Zephyr. <laughs> it lets him fly off, which is quite cool. Okay, let's tether a peep to the moot hall. You look bored. I'm quite conscious that I don't want them to do so. Oh, let's get them pissed with a tavern. Yes, yes. I want all my peeps to be pissed. But not too pissed that we all then die when the slugs come and kill us at the night. Says Josh, the teetotal guy. I want all the peeps. Your first tavern. My God, how drunk do they think I'm going to be? It's time for tr to, in times of trouble, tether peeps to the tavern to have a nice cold pint. And wait for everything to... Oh, it's the Winchester. Literally. Uh, stress is removed and wounds heal. How's... Dakila, it makes me happy. Oh, that's a good point, actually. Mike, I approve. I approve. So, if I tether them to it, that will heal him up. Uh, and the last thing that I think it talks about is advanced weather. So, tether two basic weathers together to make a rainbow. One of them must be sunshine. Uh, we can do lightning. Uh, so, let's tether. Let's tether sunshine to snow. Make a rainbow. Let's make this as homosexual as possible. Uh, advanced weather will regrow any resource. It's the only way to cure peeps of despair. Now, I don't think we've got any peeps that are in despair at the moment. But let's give it a go. I would be quite amazed if a rainbow came and said hello to me. L2 to slow things down, R2 to speed things up, which we won't do because this is enough as it is. And there we go. We're all good. So that is essentially the tutorial. As a game. <laughs> Don't you just hate it when a rainbow just appears? Uh, so we're approaching dusk. I'll keep the Zephyr there because... I feel like it, it would be remiss of me if I didn't build a potato field. So even though we're approaching night time, you can have a potato field. And here comes Slugalicious. Alright, we 
got this shit. Come on, guy. We know what to do. No, don't do that. Do that. Thank you. Oh, he's hungry. Oh, we've not been mining food. Shit. If you forgot to mine any food, don't starve, little guys. Don't starve. Come on, slug fucks. I don't care if you're hungry. Fight slugs. Kill them all. Otherwise, they're going to just steal all our resources. Oh, look! He's getting pissed in the tavern. Great. Come on. Fight! I don't care if you're hungry. Fight! Sitting there like some kind of... Think of your figures. I'm saving your figures. This is like Weight Watchers from God. <laughs> oh, this is the other thing that you can do. So let's use the Zephyr to, to, to get rid of the... Oh, I, I don't think we saw it, but it sucked him up. Spank his little ass. Come on. Oh, no, don't die, don't die, don't die, don't die, don't die, don't die. Yes. Good little guy. Right. To the piss hut for you, mate. Oh, look. He wants a drink. Oh, look. I love how they just all now want to... Right. You've all done well. Everyone to the Winchester. We can deal with Slugomatic another day. Cool, well, you seem quite happy though, so you can go and get a crystal for me, please. And yeah, so this is Tethered. Uh, available on PlayStation for PC. Oh, I got a trophy for getting loads and loads of people into the tavern. <laughs> We'll have that, thank you. It's almost like you know me well. Uh, so yeah, I really, really like it. I appreciate this is just a tutorial level, but you can kind of see that it's, there's an awful lot of micromanagement and craziness that you can can or can't do. So um, yeah, big fun. This is my life. Let's get him, do you know what, let's get him in the pub. Go on, go on. Go on, mate, go on. Right. Uh, and so you kind of continue on. I think you can, um, so you're just allowed to kind of play along with the tutorial level and after like three or four nights of it, it lets you kind of do your own thing. Let's go and get that uh, artifact that's over there. That will get us, allow us to get more things. Uh, one of you can chop trees. You can farm. Oh god, he wants to. You've only just come out of the pub. Fucking alcoholic. I'm disgraced to the core.
<laughs> there we go. So we've now got knowledge for a temple. I'm disgusted. Right, where can I build the temple then? <laughs> this is true. Ah, so let's upgrade our barracks. And look how much quicker now that we're not involved in the game's tutorial that days and nights come around. build a temple. I, th I feel it would be somewhat of a shame if they couldn't worship me. Oh. Whoa. Evil. Evil. Oh, some I do like the way how the game uses sound effects to tell you that something's just gone fucking wrong. Who's miserable? Oh, because he's so desperate for a pint. Jesus Christ. I've created animals. Next minute, there'll be one in prescription drugs. But he really wants a beer. But if you don't, like, serve him, he then goes into despair. Surely, surely this game is now just teaching dependency on alcohol. <laughs> right. You can kick his ass. Thank you. Oh shit, the guy with the thing's gonna get there. Ah. It's a cake Death by slugs. Smithy wins. So the idea is that you basically create so much mana that you. you said they wanted a prescription. Maybe the slugs have the good shit. <laughs> so yeah, the idea is that you create enough spirit energy essentially to unleash the spirit guardian, which then cleanses the land and turns it into green lushness. And then you move on to the next world. My worry is, is that when you move from one world to another, you're not tethering anyone to anything. So do they just all stand there or do they just live in the pub for the rest of the game? So uh, that's what you uh, get at the end. So I took care of my peeps amazingly. They love me. Uh, I collected enough spirit energy, which is fine, but I didn't use much weather and I wasn't very fast. <laughs> Um, so never mind. Uh, and so you continue on. So you, look, we've got different lands to go on to there. They fall into despair because no booze. <laughs> Grinning face. So it looks like there's plenty of stuff to play. As as you can see, I've not done any of it. Um, but I really liked the tutorial. Um, and I've only had this for a little while. Uh, and I've got quite a big backlog just of games. And live in the Winchester and die of alcohol poisoning. Fights. There's, Smiling there's, face with open mouth. there's a lovely way to go. Uh, so yeah, I give this game two thumbs up. I've not played it on the other levels to see exactly how it goes, but this game has reviewed really, really well. Uh, and it was literally this game and maybe Job Results. Simulator that I was interested in for PSVR. And the fact that this is now not in PSVR makes me lull and I'm not getting any PSVR get anytime soon. So yeah. Thank you very much for watching. I hope that was interesting for the couple of you watching live. Thank you very much for coming and joining. 
Uh, I think that brings me up to speed now because I didn't do a video yesterday and this is today's video even though it's now gone past midnight. Um, big hugs for everyone. I will be live again next weekend for some stuff and there's plenty of videos coming during the week. Uh, you guys will take care, have a wonderful week and I'll catch you soon. Bye for now. La 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 la